Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. A plexi clamp like this one can be fashioned from quarter inch or three eighths inch oak plywood. For this demonstration, we use a seven eighths inch hole with an eighth inch gap. The angle of the clamp handles is 10 degrees. A hand powered coping saw can be used to cut the entire project. On smaller size flexi clamps, standard drill bits can be used to create the hole. If they are available to you, Forstner bits cuts the holes smoothly and quickly. If they are sharp and used properly, no sanding will be needed. A narrow bladed bandsaw or a jigsaw can be used to make short order of cutting the profiles. Obviously, keep your fingers out of the path of a power saw blade. Otherwise, your project might be indefinitely delayed. Relief cuts need to be made to aid in the cutting of the circle profile. Again, to state the obvious, keep your fingers out of the path of the blade. Allow for the thickness of the saw blade on your relief cuts and you will reduce the amount of finished sanding that will need to be done. With the profiles cut, sand is needed. The flexi clamp can now be used as is. However, a layer of reinforcement can be added to the outer edge of the whole rim. Apply a layer of five minute epoxy. Over the epoxy, place a couple of strips of gauze. Once in place, layer on more epoxy. Just keep working it in until it's completely covered. Allow the first layer to cure and then come back with another thick layer of epoxy. With the second layer cured, come back and sand smooth. Files can also be used to smooth the edges. Try experimenting with other materials such as a thin acrylic cutting board. Thank you for watching.